Creating fixed format EPUBs in Affinity version 3, and in fact this one here, is the, the layout panel is the original Affinity Publisher, and it's now version 3. Layout Studio for publishing and structured page layout. Now I've been through mostly creating EPUBs for reflowable text, which is the most common. But a lot of documents like comics, particularly, photo books and things like that are fixed format. But fixed format won't work on a reflowable EPUB. So if you've got a reader that only does reflowable, you won't see any of that. You'll see life is one big journey in here and the text at the bottom somewhere else. You won't see this. Now this is simply a document, a comic, created in Affinity Publisher. And you can see I've got images going on there. And there's the panels <clears throat> ready for new images. It only goes down to the end page, page 9. There we go. Now I'll go back up to the top. It's very straightforward. That's just as if you were producing a book. You do it the same. You can see that the size of that. Let me see if it shows up in the transform document. 1819 pixels by 2551 pixels, which is no help at all. Um, but it's probably, I don't know what that'll be in inches. Never mind, it really doesn't matter. Because what I want to show you, you can do it in any size. 6 by 5, 5 by 8. Um, 6 by 9 is a common size for comics, even A3. But of course, it'll reduce in size to fit on the screen. So be aware that when you're trying to fit things to a screen, don't go too big. Okay, so we've got the document designed. We go to Edit. Uh, file, sorry, go to File, go to Export. EPUB fixed layout. That's that one there. And the sub menu, I've got EPUB high quality. Make sure you've got all pages selected. Not current page, you'll just get one page. All pages. And the width by height. The page DPI is 72. Now advanced. Now a word of caution here. While that's calculating, just leave it calculate. Don't try and export while it's still calculating. It could have, and does occasionally, cause problems. Use document resolution. Raster DPI. Down sample images. We don't, it does a little bit. Any images above 375 dpi, it will downsample them. Allow JPEG compression. Now, ask for location. I want it to show it in Finder. You can see, because I've moved stuff around in that, it's taking quite a while calculating the file size. Let's see what happens if I just run it. It should be OK. Export the document. Fixed format comics. Mars Adventure Comic Fixed. And it's that one there. That one there. Mars Adventure Comic Fixed EPUB. It'll overwrite the one that's already there. That's OK. Replace. It's exporting the item. And as you can appreciate, this is a fairly big book. Well, not big, but he graphics heavy. There's a lot of graphics in there. So it's taking a considerable amount of time to export it. Don't be impatient. This is an M2 Mac, so it's fairly fast. So that'll give you an idea. If you're on a somewhat not so powerful PC or a smaller Mac, it might take quite a little bit of time to export something like a comic. And this is only a nine-page comic. 
but it's very graphics intensive. But that's okay. We'll just let that run and I'll come back to you in a moment when it's finished. There we go. Now it's finished. It's come up and there's our Mars Adventure. Mars Adventure comic fixed EPUB. Now let me open that. Open with eBooks which is the, now the default on here and there it is comes up and it opens well I've had it open before so let's go back to the first page there we go page one Mars Adventure and there's the pages that I haven't filled in yet to give you an idea of where it all goes and there's the end of the book isn't that wonderful? Now that runs equally well on the iPad, which I might be able to show you. Let's try that out. Now here we are on the iPad mini and we're looking at books and this is this is the item that we've just created under books. Mars Adventure Comic Fix. That's the new one because its front page just loaded. That's an original one, exactly the same thing. So let's have a look at that. Now it's going to take a little bit to download it. I should have done the other one because the other one was already downloaded. But that's okay. There it is, opened up, and it's at the back page. Let's go to page one. There we go. You can see what's happening there. Very nice. Page one. Up the top there. Page two. Page three. On to the next page. Page 4. Click on page 4. We've read page 4. Go on to, and there's the rest of it. So we can go back to the first page. That's all there is to it. Works nicely. And I'll stop recording now. Now, I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends. Share it around. Easily done. Let's stop right there. Thanks for watching. So to summarise what we've been looking at, creating professional fixed layout EPUBs is actually quite simple. This is a complete guide, if you like, in Affinity Publisher version 3. First, set up your document. Open Affinity Publisher version 3 and choose File, New. Under Page Preset, pick your desired page size. A4, iPad screen ratio or custom. Set the orientation, portrait or landscape. Leave the margins and bleed as needed. These matter in fixed layout because page elements won't reflow. Now I detailed all of this exactly in the previous video. Click create. Now here's a tip. Fixed format EPUBs preserve your exact layout, which is ideal for illustrated books, comics, children's books, or graphics heavy guides, or comics. Design your pages. Add your text frames, images, and shapes as usual. Use picture frames for images and ensure they're properly positioned. Apply textiles for consistency. If you include hyperlinks or table of contents, they'll stay clickable in the exported EPUB. Think of it like designing a print layout. When you see what readers will see. Check anchors and layout order. Layer order, sorry. Inline or anchored images are optional in fixed layout. Layer orders define what appears on top. In other words, higher layers appear on top of lower layers. Use the Layers panel to ensure reading order makes sense, top to bottom, left to right.
export as fixed format EPUB. Go to File, Export, choose Digital Publishing, EPUB. And you can modify the Export Options dialog. Fixed layout, metadata, include images, hyperlinks, embed fonts, which is optional but not recommended. I would embed all images. Spread layout. If your design uses double page spreads, enable this. Click export and save your EPUB file. Now, Affinity version 3 doesn't have some of these export settings, but that's all right. Just pick the one you like. Experiment. There's only three there. Test your EPUB. After export, open your EPUB in one or more ebook readers to test, such as Apple Books, Calibra, Thorium Reader, Adobe Digital Editions for Windows or Android. Check that all fonts display correctly, images appear in place, links and navigation work, and pages display as intended. Optimize for devices. Fixed EPUBs are pixel accurate, so designed for your audience's most likely screen size. Portrait, 768 by 1024 is iPad style layout. Landscape, 1920 by 1080 pixels is wide monitor or tablet display. Avoid extremely small text. Readers can't resize it in fixed layout. Validate is optional but recommended. Run your exported file through an EPUB validator, such as Calibra's built-in tool to check for compliance before publishing. But Affinity Publisher should do that for you anyway. Quick summary. Some notes. Create document, design layout, review order, export, test and validate. Fairly simple. Okay, that's it. So I'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed the look at the comic.